Hello, um, welcome everybody. So this is April the 10th, uh, 2021. So I'm just giving a little, little update as to what's happening, uh, what I've been doing with the hopper. Uh, made a few changes, a few little tweaks, and I'm just going to run it by you um, and show you what I'm doing. Because obviously, I mean, if some of you have used the original setup um, that I've you know that that we've put together in the group and that um and on the pdf some of this may have changed now um which you know it, it happens and i think these kind of things do sort of evolve um certainly with some of these coins um i've chopped and changed a few coins out so i'll show you what i've done um so first of all i've upgraded to the adventurer level which allows you um, if I show you the subscriptions, this allows you to do, um, let's have a look, see if we can get them up. So here we go. So the first one, <clears throat> which everyone kind of started off on, was the Explorer one, uh, which is brilliant. I mean, you don't really need it. I don't, you know, I think this is a great, great value, you know, $19 a month. So that's the one which gives you 10-minute technical analysis. And you can do 15 coins and open up to 80 positions. So I'm just experimenting now with the adventure one. Purely because I wanted to try some new coins, really. Um, and it's got a bit of... It's a bit quicker um, in terms of it can do... The, you know, it does the TAs um, in five-minute intervals. So anyway, so I've upgraded to that. And with that, obviously, comes some different settings in terms of uh, coins. So I bought, I, I put a load of coins in, which I admittedly probably didn't do enough research on, um, because I did find a few duds. So my kind of strategy behind the selections was... I'd go over to coin market cap and I would look at a coin and then I would search it up. And then for example, I'd look at things like the trading volume, you know, I'd want this to be nice and high. And generally, I mean, it's really uh, the crypto game at the minute is obviously surging. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I would kind of look at like the three month chart really um, because I'm not really interested in something that's just powered up in the last week or you know a clear sort of pump and dump stuff um, it, which unfortunately a lot of them are at the moment but then you don't know they could hang around so I wanted stuff which is a bit of a little bit of history um, and that's generally doing okay and with a decent volume um so that's kind of what i've done like i say i'm not really an expert in that but it's kind of what i've done so i picked all mine together i did originally do all 50 um but then if i show you the sort of current dashboard what we got going on um so there's a f quite a few open positions i found this coin here file coin um and Luna, I mean, these are pretty, they're down at the minute. They're quite a bit down at the minute. That, that file coin trade's been open for eight days. It was as low as 23%. Um, so, I mean, again, I, I sort of, if you look at the chart, again, look at the six months. I mean, it's relatively new in terms of, you know, it, it, its volume. So this could easily just plummet back down. Um, you know, like many of them could, but I'm hanging on to things. I'm hanging on to a couple at the minute. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm fairly confident that that will pull it back. Um, the position we opened on that was 192, which if we have a look, Yeah, it's, it's 192 is sort of somewhere up there. Okay, 
So, I mean, it's not too far apart. I mean, it should hopefully get back up. And then we don't know what's going to happen with this. You know, are these coins, are they going to carry on surging up? Or is that their peak? Or, you know. So, I'm kind of keeping an eye on them. I have been sort of chopping and changing a few out. Um, same with Luna. This is another one. Um, so, that's that. So, I've picked some new coins. Obviously, because of the amount of coins now, it's doing a lot more trades. Which, you know, if if you look at my, this is my overall history since I've started doing it. You can see there quite clearly there's about 20 buy and sells per day, roughly. Um, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. And then here's where I turned on the new subscription. And you can see it just skyrocketed up. So it started to do a lot more. Um... A lot more trades, but because of those pretty bad coins, you know, the Lunar and the Fall coin at the moment, it hasn't really made much difference, I wouldn't say, to my um, overall growth. I mean, it's still growing. Uh, if I show you when I turned it on, which was the 1st of April, we go now, so just since I've upgraded... It has gone up from 863 to 922. Because um, I did put a little bit more in to test it. But you can see, you know, steady growth and then a drop. Clawed it back, steady growth and then a drop. Clawed it back. And then hopefully now, you know, we, we, we should kick on. There's a couple of other things I changed. One of them was the my percentage buy so i've lowered this i was doing five percent i've now lowered it to 2.5 again to try and see if more kind of frequency and you know smaller amounts but more frequent you know makes a difference i was also reading as well in a forum that you shouldn't really allocate your full amount so i've although my pot is now 900 and something i've kept it my own, the only amount it will trade is $700 at the moment. And I'm kind of, obviously I'll increase that. As the pot increases, I'll increase this. Um, so it just leaves a little kind of buffer, a little safety buffer. Um, the other one, the other changes are dollar cost averaging. <clears throat> I'm a bit confused with, not confused, but I do, I, yeah, I, I'm hit and miss with this. I mean, sometimes during the early stages, it worked really well. But there is obviously the risk. I mean, when I had my... Uh, let's go back to buy settings. Sorry, this is another important thing that I've changed. I've also changed the max percentage opens per coin down to 15%. I did have that at 100%, which basically meant that it could, in theory, go all in on one coin, um, which would, which would... It, you know, if it swings your way, that's great. But if it doesn't, then you could be stuck for a long time waiting for a position to close without any, you know, it wouldn't be able to go and do any more trades because you'd you'd be tied up. So I've reduced that drastically down um, to 15, which means now, given my current stats and uh, given my current settings, it'll only open 12 positions per coin, which I've never seen it open 12. But um, so that's that. The other one then is the dollar cost averaging, which I've switched off the immediate buy because of that exact thing. When that was at a hundred and that was on, um, I have you know read of a couple of instances, not on mine, but a couple of accounts which I've seen where it's opened a position on a coin. The coin's gone down a lot, and then it's pumped all of it in. It's gone all in, and and then they're stuck then for you know it could be a week or two weeks until it all claws back so i don't really want to do it like that so i've turned off the immediate buy off um and i've put a 15 minute cap and then a five percent drop trigger um and then i've switched the order size to double down i don't know whether it's working very well or not yet it's too too early to say really so this has been running for a week um and you know so far so good i'd say 
whether is it an improvement on the Explorer one? No, not really, not at the moment. Um, so, it, but then it's still far too early, and this has only been set nine days, um, which is which is you know not nowhere near enough to say really. So I'm going to run it for probably a couple of months um, on this higher plan, see what happens, uh, and I'll report back as and when. Okay. Thanks very much.